Dr. Harris, good to see you again, of course, from a socially appropriate, appropriate distance. Um, and in a conversation we had, we thought it would be a really good time to, to touch base with our parents and students out there and especially pass on a thank you and a really well done, especially to, to our students. Uh, Dr. Harris and I have received lots of, lots of feedback from parents and students um, uh, who are doing an amazing job with this transition to, to remote learning uh, and doing a valiant effort in keeping up with their studies, communicating with their teachers, communicating with their peers through the forums, uh, and we're really pleased uh, and wanted to pass a well done on to all of you. Well done. As we discussed early on, we thought it would be a really good time to talk about something that we think is really important now that, that students have made this transition to remote learning, and that's the concept of routine. Uh, and we know that uh, for some, the opportunity now to, to work from home uh, provides a little bit more flexibility, but we also believe that students need to make sure that they're planning their day. Uh, and we know there's lots of benefits, and Dr Harris and I have received lots of feedback from students who've shared some of those benefits of actually having a plan set out for the day. One of the benefits of planning a day and keeping a routine means that you can keep up with the coursework and the learning activities that your teachers uh, have set you. Another one is communication, and through the forums, it gives you an opportunity through your remote learning blocks that you've planned in the day to connect with your teachers, to ask questions, and also to connect with your peers and talk about the learning activities that you're working on. Finally, one other benefit, which I think is really important, and Dr. Harris agrees with me, it makes sure that you plan some breaks in your day. Recess and lunch break, and you may decide that you want to do it at the same time as you normally would uh, at school, you may want to slightly change that around, but it's really important that you have those breaks. In your blocks of learning, we also encourage you to have little mini breaks, just those five minutes of downtime, maybe every 15, every 30, maybe even every hour, where you down tools, move away from your screen, go and pat the pet, do a lap around the backyard, maybe even venture to the kitchen, not to open the fridge, but maybe to go to the, the uh, sink, maybe wash a dish or two. Or your hands. Or your hands. Okay. And we think that's very important because we're finding in our roles at the moment, we're spending significant hours every single day on our laptops and on the telephone and sitting there very still. So we feel your pain. We're in the same boat. And we actually went for a walk earlier on, didn't we? We decided to do a lap of the school, just walking very fast at a socially appropriate distance, obviously, uh, just to make sure that we weren't sitting still for that long. We are not expecting you to sit at your laptop from 8.30 in the morning until 3.30 because that wouldn't be good for anybody and it certainly wouldn't be good for your learning. So you've talked a bit about um, how important it is for me to have a routine at home, Mr Lawson. It is indeed. Is there any way you could help me by providing some sort of, perhaps a template or a framework so that I can organise my own time better if I am not one of the students who wants to stick to the lessons of the school day? I've got friends who are really keen to do period one in period one time period two when it would normally be, but I'm not like that. I like to go rogue sometimes and I wondered whether you could help me organise my time better please. Well it's funny Dr Harris that you asked that question, somewhat uncanny, because um, <laughs> what we have produced today uh, is in fact a remote learning routine template. Uh, and for that very, very reason, what we talked about before, it's great that we have some flexibility with the transition to remote learning, but it's really important that we all have a plan. Uh, what we have here is a, little, is a little template that enables you to plan your day, and in fact your week. You'll notice uh, on this plan, and we'll, we'll post this uh, on Sector and email it out to all parents and students, it starts with a little message about making sure that you post a present in your mentor forum in the morning, and then at 1.30 in the afternoon. That's not optional, that part. That's that bit's not optional. Yeah. The bit that's a little optional, um, we've got some blocks of learning here in the morning, early morning, in the mid-morning, and then in the afternoon. Now we have within those six mini blocks, and as Dr Harris mentioned, there are some students who really like to, at the moment, and then until the end of the term, follow their school timetable. And you can certainly add that in there. For those who might like to get up early and get a run on and, and have a big block of learning in the morning or even in the afternoon, you can use this in a flexible way. But the most important thing is you plan your day. If this, you finish this, put it somewhere where everyone can see in the house, uh, it'll help you to commit, stay focused, make sure that you keep up with your schoolwork and also make sure you have some really important breaks throughout your day. And finally, uh, a message to those students out there who may be feeling a little bit anxious and a little bit overwhelmed uh, with the transition to remote learning. And I know Dr. Harris will share with me in this message 
Um, be positive, be confident, and remember that learning at home is something that you have been doing and you have some experience in. Remember, homework is actually learning at home, and you can draw on some of those skills that you've been using and adopting at home through your homework. Remember, have the resources that you need around you. So it certainly might be your laptop, it might be some worksheets, it might be a textbook if you have that home with you to help you and guide you through the work that your teachers have set you. Remember to remove any distractions. For the most part, it's highly likely you'll only need one device and not multiple devices around you to finish your work. So it might be a great opportunity to take that mobile phone or that other mobile device Put it out the way so you can focus in your remote learning block to do what your teachers have asked you to do. And finally, at the end of your remote learning block, as a way of, even for yourself, give an idea of whether it's been productive, think about what you have produced. If you've typed up a draft essay, if you've written up some flashcards, if there's something that you can physically hold or even show a parent, then it's a really good chance you've been productive and you can give yourself a pat on the back. And this is a time not to be communicating with your mates while you're doing your lesson work. It's a time for communicating with your teachers. It's a time for getting on the sector forums and asking questions. And it's a time for, if you're too embarrassed to do that, and you don't want everyone to know what you're asking, to email your teacher and say, I wasn't sure about this, what's the best way to proceed? We're working really hard to get back to you as quickly as we can. Obviously, there are lots of you, but I promise you we're doing our best and communicating with us is the right way to keep going. As always, if you've got any questions, feel free to get in touch. You have our email addresses. I'm sure they'll be put up on the screen in a minute. Give us a ring. Whatever you need, we're here to help you. Thank you.